Hi guys. So we're about to talk about the poem To a Mouse by Robert Burns. Now Robert Burns wrote this poem in 1785 and the legend goes that he was out in his barn and he found this little nest of mice and taking inspiration from that he sort of thought about his position as a human being and these tiny vulnerable creatures and how he was supposed to relate to them and so this is the poem that resulted. Now the format of this poem is called an ode and what an ode is it's when a poet chooses a subject and directly addresses it. Normally odes are forms of praise. So some very famous ode writers include John Keats who wrote to a Grecian urn and they normally talk about the form of the subject as well as the qualities it has in a really positive way. So thinking about that, Robert Burns, man, talks about this tiny mouse that he finds and how it's made its home in his barn. Now in this poem, Robert Burns apologizes to the mouse. He humbles himself um, and says that he's sorry that the mouse has been made to feel as though people might harm it or hurt it. What you will notice, and this is the challenging part of reading this poem, is that, like I said, it was written in 1785, and Burns' language definitely reflects that. And so I would really, really stress to you that as you read through this poem, please, please click on words that you don't understand so that you can see definitions as you make your way through it. That's gonna make this reading so much quicker, so much easier for you. Now, what I do want you to think about as you're reading this poem is what are certain characteristics that mice have? Um, mice are small, right? They're um, prey for other creatures. Normally, they are thought of as vermin or thought of as not very important. And so why would Robert Burns choose to write an ode, this huge poem of praise Right, about the small, seemingly insignificant thing. It's also important to note, especially as you find your way toward the end, that the title for the novel we're about to read, Of Mice and Men, is taken from this poem. Um, the line that Steinbeck chose specifically is, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. And so it's gonna be important for you to think about how that phrase works with the poem as a whole and what Burns means using that phrase and how John Steinbeck might've wanted to use this same idea. All right, have fun.